familiar history, but that is the historic Fort Snelling. Um, I would imagine most people know what the hell Fort Snelling is. Maybe not. Maybe just because I'm from Minnesota, I know what Fort Snelling is. Um, should we go on a little road trip again? These are all kind of these cool little places next to me. Um, I live in just the weirdest freaking area of uh, the cities. It, it, there's nothing, no other area like it, I can tell you that. Um, and we're just going to go through Fort Snelling. It's like totally on my way home. I'm kind of in this little corner that... Like, these are old-ass buildings. Actually, my buddy's uh, company he owns a landscaping gravel company. Did all these softball fields. I mean, there's just a ton of softball fields here. I mean, I don't know how many. Probably 15. Really nice. New, state-of-the-art shit. Pretty cool. Now, this building is, like, over 100 years. Hundreds of years old. It's uh, one of the Fort Snelling original buildings, um, and they're they're remodeling it right now. That's a government building. It's called the Whipple Building. That's uh, where all the for Minnesota all government payroll, government documents, and everything are kind of kept. Um, you can see some of these old buildings here are. I mean, we're talking back in the day, man. They're, they're still here. Um, you can still see them in the background there. They're unfortunately not protected like I think they should be, um, which really sucks. A lot of them are just run down pieces of shit, but you can see a lot of them. I'll get up closer and you'll see where they have like military numbers on them for housing. This is where I go golfing. It's a little nine hole course. Um, it's called the Fort Snelling Golf Course. It's the loudest golf course in the United States, if not the world. I know the United States for sure. Reason being, it's the loudest golf course in the United States. I will show you in a minute. But um, I'm bringing you back here is because oh, they are tearing some of these down. That's a goddamn shame. These buildings are so fucking cool. Old, old. I mean, we're talking. <laughs> I couldn't even guess, guys. I mean, that's building 57. And it's even on the brickwork itself and block work. I mean, these buildings have been here since World War One, if not more. Later, before that, what the hell am I talking about? Way before that. Seriously, these buildings have been here since freaking they settled uh, Fort Snelling over here and moved the Native Americans around. That's how old these buildings are. And they're all boarded up. They're kind of crumbling down. It's building 53. They look like shit. Um, and uh, they, I don't know what they're going to do with them. I, I really think that they want to build them up for the poor and move in like homeless and poor people in here, which would just turn this into a fucking ghetto. I mean, let's just be honest. I mean, they should put these things up for auction for the rich. Move the rich in here. This would be a really nice area. That golf course would change. Move the poor in here. Come on, man. It, it'd just be stupid. And it, that's seriously my opinion. You know, it would just be really stupid. Well, here's some back here where the boards are actually off. Um, there's one there that's actually can all knocked down. Someone might have set it on fire. Um, oh, great. Here we go. They are actually remodeling them or doing something. Fort Snelling Upper Post. You are here. So, stabilization construction is being supported in part by Save Americans, America's Treasures. That's cool. So they are gonna save them. Who knows what they're gonna do with them? Who cares? It's history, man, it's some huge history. These are probably the oldest buildings in Minneapolis, all of Minneapolis, St. Paul. There's the old church. Again, these are all boarded up, man, and they have been literally for, literally these buildings have been boarded up for over 60 years. <laughs> it's crazy, man. I'm 35, so that's just, it's unfathomable to me, 60 years. Um, 
but just fucking back then, you know, the, the craftsmanship and the work they put into these things, I mean, it's just unreal. Again, there, there's, I'm on, they're on both sides of me here, um, and then that's the golf course over there too. Um, and here's the reason why it is the loudest golf course in um, the United States. It's because it borders the Minneapolis-St. Paul Airport. This is all airport. The runways are right here. Um, I'm going to drive through here. I shouldn't. I think this is all protected and guarded by uh, military. Oh, I ain't going through there. Shit. Hell no. You can tell the motherfuckers already got stuck up in that. And yeah, we're going in reverse. So, yeah, that's why. It, the Literally, the first, second, and third hole are right on the uh, property of, uh, or border, the airport. And while you're teeing off, man, an airplane will take off. It's just the craziest thing. Um, I like it. It makes it fun. I'm not a great golfer, so I don't give a shit, you know? Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Again, you can see all the little houses back in here where they're, uh, they just sit all boarded up, man. I mean, it's all, it says all restricted, restricted, you know. I don't give a shit. What are they going to do, arrest me? We'll drive back here. This should go to the golf course. Who knows? I could get arrested for coming back here. I have no idea. I don't see any cops. Check these things out, man. These are just awesome buildings. Who wouldn't love a house like that? Kick ass. Oops. And they got little outbuildings, horse corrals, and they had old horse barns. Yeah, I'm not supposed to be over here. I just drove up on the golf course area. Okay, there's the first hole. I'm glad there ain't no t son of a bitch teeing off. Well, our, our golf courses did actually open. Um, some of them. This one doesn't look like it did. You, and if it did, it's closed, you know, for the night. Uh, that's seven minutes, 30 something. So, this isn't even Fort Snelling itself. We, we actually still have Fort Snelling um, in just perfect condition. I go up there a lot in the summer for uh, reenactments, and um, it's pretty cool. It's a really educational. I don't know. I think people should know their own history where they're at. You know, it's nice to know what's around you and why it's there, and you know, who put it there. I mean, that's it's part of fucking living in America, man. I think everybody should know that shit, no matter where you're from. You know, uh, let's see how far we can get before this video kicks out. Um, you can see some domes over there. They're like indoor tennis courts or something. Um, they're like right there. The big ass domes. All right. Let's see here. And this is actually adjacent to the uh, Air Force Base that I was walking around where I did a video of with the dog. This would be the, um, not quite the opposite side, but close to the opposite side of it. Um, we have a little, like, um, military bar, I guess you'd call it, per se. It's, uh, I think it's called the Officer's Club. Um, and it is, there it is. We're actually going to drive by it. You'll probably be able to tell because there'll be all military stickers on cars and big-ass pickup trucks and shit, you know? Um, that's a bar. It's a pretty cool bar in there, actually. Do a lot of wedding stuff in there, um, and I can't even tell you how many times I've been drunk there. At yeah, the Fort Snelling Club is what it is. Uh, outside they have big ass uh, like horseshoe and volleyball area. So while you're drinking, you can just come out here and throw some shoes. So I mean, I really dig that. It's kind of nice. All right, cut me off later.